belaboring the point again, but making sure that even though I tried take, even though I did my diagnostic test early, um, it's something that I'm happy that I did, but I wish I would have incorporated even more question banks and even more test taking um, strategies that I would um, along the way. So I could have kept honing and honing and honing that ability to make sure that I was like primed for taking the MCAT exam. And I think that I um, needed to be able to trust myself as well with where it, like my knowledge was growing and where my knowledge was failing and how I address certain problems along the way. And so I know that we're going through all these different motions right now, but I know that um, we need to also remind ourselves that we need to be kind to ourselves in this entire process, that we're human, that we make mistakes. I didn't like the MCAT score that I got the first time. I ran with it. Um, very happy for my first cycle. I just wanted to get out get it done with in the first go and I um, just really saw that I struggled with some areas while I was like studying and I wish that I would have given myself the kindness to know that maybe I was stressed out with work that day and that's why I wasn't able to get more than an hour of studying in. or maybe I should change some commitments around so that I could have that weekend off to like stimulate an environment like Natalia and take my practice exam like in a library or in a coffee shop or something and like make it as realistic as possible or make sure that I'm sitting down with these books and understanding concepts but not for too long so I don't get drawn into the learning phase and the book phase that Oliver was talking about because there were some sections that when I was feeling very insecure about that's something that I would end up doing and it would be a waste of my time and that's why it took me so long to end up preparing for the MCAT but also I'm happy that I did take that time because it was something that I needed to do personally in my journey and I know that your mileage will vary so this will be different for everybody. And I know that there's no right or wrong way to really prepare for the MCAT exam as long as you are just doing things as early as possible. And if you're giving yourself that time to know that, like until you're saying you will be a doctor, just remind yourself that you will be a doctor, you will be a doctor. And you just know that if you need more time, take that time. If you need to push something back, push something back. Um, if you're feeling that you're not performing as well as you are on some exam right now in your undergrad and your post back or while you're taking your practice exams right now really ask yourself what is getting in the way of my success and really try to deal with those obstacles first because you need to remind yourself again that you're human and that you're putting up with a lot of different stressors on top of wanting to be this amazing physician that's going to go change the world and do amazing things so i know that um i wish i could have told myself a lot of those things looking back and i would have probably been less stressed as i am right now and stuff like that moving forward in life